So today I decided to do, um, well, let's see. Let's make sure he's milled off. He is not. Okay, well then let's see if this will work. Um, normal. And then I think I'm at Jim G. Jim G. Are there underscores? I think I'm using underscores. I can't remember. I moved. Um, okay, so that's what happens when your guy has battle orders on. Um, and you hover over him. See, I have 1,959 out of 1,323 hit points. So his battle orders were still on. Uh, and so you get a error. 127.0.0.1 just points to your own computer. Okay. So this guy just needs to drop his gems. Uh, so yeah, today I decided I was just going to farm a new batch of 40 gems. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, each time that I get 1,000 sapphires then I take them, uh, I will take them to 1.07 to roll 1,000 uh, Sapphire plus Thawing Potion plus Magic Ring recipe at character level 19 with the goal of getting a uh, Magic Find, Magic Find, Faster Cast Rate mana per kill, rare ring with uh, hopefully more than 30 magic find. Uh, or maybe it's like 25. In 1.07 it might just be 25. And then um, you know, hopefully like 20 or more mana after each kill. Ideally, you know, 37 the maximum. So, alright, that guy's done. He should have a new map now, and uh, he's just gonna go kill the Travancol, uh for gems over and over. Uh, for I think this is about 15 minutes, uh, but if they drop like that, then it's gonna be a lot less than 15 minutes. Uh, if I get three every time. Four every time. Uh, I might try. Let's see. Giant Axe War Staff. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. I'm going to do that a couple times um, to see. If they can drop uh, bases that normally only drop superior quality or better. Plate mail. Tough to say. Because I noticed when I did that in uh, 1.06, when I horked the Traven Call to demonstrate to one of the viewers uh, why I don't do it, uh, which is that they don't do a council member drop, they just drop one item. 
they dropped a chaos armor that was not superior. Uh, whereas I expect that every item that drops in uh, this far into hell will be at least superior quality or better. Uh, and so I was thinking that could be potentially a source for lances um, for imbuing. And in this version, it could potentially be a source for uh, Beck to Corbin or Grim Scythe for imbuing. Probably won't pursue it too much uh, because I don't personally need it. I still prefer the Cow King or the Infinite Magic Find. Um, over imbuing because of the chance for failed uniques and the higher durability that comes with that. So. So it really slows down the runs, like, a lot. Today, uh, I did not drink enough water at work, so for dinner I had half a gallon of milk. Uh, I did not buy grape juice, I bought, uh, I bought one called Breakfast Blend, which is like a mix of pineapple juice, apple juice, papaya, and I think like lemon. And because of the pineapple and lemon, which are acidic, uh, I did not mix it with the milk because that will curdle the milk. Um, and I don't want to drink curdled milk. Uh, the grape juice did not curdle the milk. Uh, the only time that I drank intentionally curdled milk was uh, for a while I was using Mio flavor drops in milk and that would cause like a small amount of curdling but uh, if you stir it up really well you barely notice because it only takes like a couple drops for the whole glass of milk so but I don't do that anymore uh, I think it's not worth it And I like plain milk anyway. Uh, tonight's milk I actually mixed in heavy cream. Uh, since I wasn't going to be eating a large dinner, uh, that way I could get bonus calories. And it was way more bonus than I anticipated uh, when I looked at the nutrition label after the fact. It was like 1600 calories of cream, I think. Yeah, that's right. And it was 1,200 calories of milk. <laughs> so, it's like, oh, it's more cream than I thought. Uh, some of the cream did not go in the milk. It went on apples. I had uh, 
two apples and a banana that I poured some of the cream over. So it wasn't like only milk. I had some fruit. The apples are pretty easy to go ahead and like chop up into bite-sized pieces, and so is the banana. Uh, so are pears, but pears are not on sale. Uh, otherwise, uh, sometimes if pears and apples are on sale, I'll buy both. Or if I go to the Asian store, which I don't do very often, but from time to time. Uh, H Mart is the one that we have. We also have uh, 99 Ranch Market. And there's others, but those are the supermarket sized ones. Uh, if you really want to be adventurous, you can go uh, to Viet Hoa and get. Uh, that one is like huge. And they had. Last time I went there, which was long ago. They had uh, in their organ meat aisle, which all the Asian stores have like organ meat aisles in their meat department. They had whole pig's head. Uh, and they, their tea aisle was three full aisles of tea, which blew my mind. Like That is a lot of tea. It's more than the Phoenician Deli. And the Phoenician Deli has a lot of tea. But the, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I think that's the first time I had uh, lychee sake. And then the second time I had lychee sake, I drank the whole bottle. And that's when I did the math to figure out how much alcohol is in a bottle of 12.5% alcohol by volume wine um, rel related to 40% uh, alcohol liquor. And a typical bottle of wine is similar to drinking a measuring cup full of liquor for the alcohol content. which is, I think, quite a bit. Uh, I ended up getting a ride home that day and then riding my bicycle the next morning to go pick up my car. And, uh... You know, I drank the whole bottle because I brought it and nobody else wanted any. So, okay, well, I'm not going to bring this stuff home. So I'll just drink it all. <clears throat> the reasoning of an idiot. And the other one... Um, that I got from 99 Ranch Market that I kind of liked was, uh, I think it's called Ume. Uh, and Ume is just like the plum that they make the wine from. It's Japanese plum. And they actually have some of the plums in the bottle. 
And it, it's pretty good. It's like, uh, it's kind of thick, like viscous and a bit sweet. But I haven't had alcohol in a long time. So now, if I drank a measuring cup full of liquor, I would uh, be in the bathroom vomiting for a while. But if I were to do it, then I would use uh, either Jack Daniels or Jim Beam honey whiskey. Actually, no, I can't. I take it back. I can't drink whiskey. Um, hmm. Yeah, now if I drink alcohol, it has to be uh, made from like potato vod like potatoes, like potato vodka, or it would have to be like uh, made from agave nectar or something because I can't have the grains. Or I suppose, you know, I could probably drink most wines. I don't know if they like add sugar in the wine making process. Or if it's like just the fruit. If it's just the fruit, then I could probably have most wines. But I don't like most wines. So. There's some peach wines that are pretty pleasant. Uh, they're a bit sweeter. And like they don't taste like alcohol. Like that one time I made jello shots and uh, the only liquor that I had available to mix into the jello shots <laughs> was Everclear and so I, I made a proportional amount relative to the amount of alcohol that I wanted in the jello shots but then when I poured it into the I'll say jello batter uh, the liquid, like the portion that I was pouring it into almost immediately solidified because it was, um, what's it called? Whoops. You know, it, uh, I had pulled the Everclear out of the freezer, so it was really cold. And so it like solidified that portion of the jello pretty instantly. And so, uh, the tray of jello shots, like half of it tasted like jello with nothing in it. And then half of it, uh, probably about a quarter of it, tasted like diesel fuel. <laughs> so that was uh, an interesting result. Okay, that should be enough. Make sure I get the sapphire. The ruby is better than the diamond. Okay, can I grab the diamond? No. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so I got an inventory full. Um, if I were playing... Um, I'll say playing without recording and then... Uh, Yeah, because of this map, like how many sapphires they were dropping relative to the other bases, like you can see no skulls, one emerald, so many sapphires. Um, somehow there is a way to mule off without losing your map, without copy pasting your save file. Um, I would probably, you know, if this were I'll say if I were going hard on this goal and like really grinding it out, 
then I would wait to use this guy again until I figured out that process. Um, but that, as is, I'm just going to mule off and, you know, lose the Sapphire heavy map and it's fine. Uh, it's not a big deal.